All right, from bad days to beauty pageant, we go straight to Anambra State, Okija precisely, for the 2018 phase of Okija Beauty Pageant. It was put together by the Obi Jackson Foundation. Take a look. The face of Okija, an annual event founded by the Obi Jackson Foundation in 2013. It focuses on addressing the degenerating moral standards of today's younger generation, especially of Igbo extraction. The 2018 edition of the beauty pageant, which started first as a platform for finding female ambassadors for Okija, has now grown not only to include young men, but an empowerment program for the youth and a major entertainment fiesta on the annual celebration calendar in the eastern part of the country. It kicks off with a pre-event cocktail. The pageant, which is strict cultural code, including restricting the contestants from wearing too revealing clothes, also prepares them before the D-Day with language lessons and basic business startup trainings while also enjoying themselves in an atmosphere of fun. Every day by day I just they say they fit away. Everything I do we just they penetrate oh. I just want to say oh, thank you Jehovah. See I'm living large I get and just so for my ghetto Never forget where I come from not from ghetto The beauty pageant is spiced up with top class entertainment from popular acts including Mr. Real and Zoro And that was followed by the second appearance by the contestants, both the male and female. Baby guy, you're my desire. I know go leave you run away. But to suit yourself like it is there now. You give me love, you run away. To a little. I say I'm gonna you call me your bum up. Now money be fine, but bum bum bum. Told you that much you got gone. Followed by a full musical drama titled Homecoming by D Classical Arts. There is no sacrifice too heavy for a glorious future with you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> They took a quick break and then had two guest speakers, celebrated literary icon Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and renowned Kenyan lawyer Mr. Patrick Lumumba speak to everyone. Today, therefore, we come here to celebrate culture and we come to celebrate culture at the behest of the O.B. Jackson Foundation, an event that started five years ago. It is no longer an event. It has graduated into a festival, and I dare say that it must even have graduated to a movement. That is why we have men and women who have been drawn from different parts of Africa to be present here this evening at midnight to celebrate culture. Ibo Land produced great writers. 
if Chino Achebe and Flora Wapa and Buchi Emecheta and Chukwu Emeki Ike had not written the books they did, when they did, how they did, I would not have had the emotional courage to write my own books. And so today I honor them and I stand respectfully in their shadow. I also stand with great pride in the shadow of so many other daughters and sons of Igbo land. We have much to be proud of in Igbo land. We have many from whom we can take inspiration. The Oni of Ife, who was a guest at the occasion, lauded the celebration of the rich Igbo culture through the beauty pageant. Things like this bring us, you can see a lot of youth in thousands. They're here, they're very happy to be part of how to uphold the culture. Look at the way they're singing and very happy in this festive period. So I'm happy that I'm here. Makagini sauce on Gimwa. Veteran actor Peter Doce, who has served as judge since inception of the fiesta, rounded up the beauty pageant before the queen and king were crowned. Person. I now invite the royal fathers to join us in a group photograph. Amongst other performances, music star David O wrapped up the entertainment fiesta. The chief host, Dr. Ernest Obiejesi, brought the 2018 edition to a close. I want to once again thank you for honoring us and I want to assure you that next year, God's willing, is going to be better than this year. Preparations have already started for the 2019 edition as the fiesta continues to grow in leaps and bounds.